From the air to the water, thousands of South Floridians will be spending their New Year's Eve boating in South Florida. And this year, there's a new, there are new regulations in place to make it safer for everybody. The father of a man killed in a boat crash is grateful for the tougher regulations. CBS 4's Natalia Zaire brings us his message. After spending 33 years manning a Miami-Dade County fireboat, retired Captain Jack Garcia still lives for the ride. Even the tragic loss of his son Andy in a boating accident on the 4th of July couldn't keep him off the water. It's in my blood. It was, it, I have, it was in my son's blood. I brought him up. You know, he was on the water with me since before he could walk. But as much as he loves being out on the bay, Jack is staying on dry land this New Year's Eve. I wouldn't go out on the water that day. Andy was one of four people killed in a boat collision after the fireworks show ended on the 4th. It was similar to the chaotic scenes Jack has seen during New Year's Eve working on the fireboat. Is, it's almost like the Derby Day. As soon as the show's over, you have hundreds of boats and they're all going in different directions. That's why for the first time the Coast Guard is implementing a temporary speed zone on New Year's Eve in Biscayne Bay. The speed zone slows down boaters on the bay between the Julia Tuttle Causeway all the way south of Deering Bay Marina. Any boater caught going over 15 knots in the Coast Guard's temporary speed zone could have their boat boarded and get a ticket. Local law enforcement will also be out in force stepping up security. But Jack says one of the best ways to stay safe is to boat with an experienced operator and to be patient. At, at the end of the show or whatever, don't be in a hurry to race back. It's, it's, there's no prize for getting to the dock first. Above all, though, he urges amateur boaters to pick another time to enjoy the water. He wants to avoid other families from feeling the kind of loss he has suffered. If you're not an experienced boater during the day, you are a danger to everybody on the water at night. Trust me. Natalia Zaya, CBS 4 News.